Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be giving you an investment guide. So basically what I want to be doing with this investment guide thing is potentially making a series and what I want to do with it is try to actually teach people uh, the reasons behind investments rather than the best things to invest in specifically. In my videos I tend to try and make all of my investment tips actually have reasoning behind them. So like for example when we just recently talked about the cash collection I tried to throw in the exact reasoning why those were good investments. But I think the best way to actually teach people about investing is to give them a more direct and exact answer and an exact reasoning for why investments actually succeed or fail. So today we're going to be talking about rares. But before we get to that guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support on the recent video. It got an absolute ton of views, tons of comments, and a lot of people joined my Discord server because of it. I also gained a lot of subscribers from it. So that was really cool to see. It's really cool to see one of my videos actually, you know, explode in popularity, especially so quickly. I think it actually reached around 700 views just the night after being uploaded and that's the first time that's ever happened on my channel and I'm super grateful for all the support I got on it so thank you guys so much for that and uh, with that being said let's move on to the actual video. Alright guys so the first thing we need to talk about is what specifically a rare actually is. So a rare in any economy is something that is in very low supply but in very high demand. So basically what happens with rares is they tend to have extremely high prices and are extremely wanted by many people in the community that have the ability to buy them just because they are so rare and they can hold value super 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 well and increase in value super super well. The nice thing about rares in online economies is that there are a lot of factors that can go in to actually making a rare even more rare and making those investors even more money. So some of these factors specifically include stuff like deletion. So what ends up happening is sometimes inventories will actually be trade banned and what can happen from that is all of those items that the person had, if they had any rares of course, it can make those items more rare for the other people because those items are now out of circulation. So I think that word circulation is extremely important to talk about when we are talking about rares. So what circulation is is how many of one item are actually out there in the market. How many of one item you can actually buy and how many of one item you can actually trade and do all that with. So what happens is with rares they have very low circulation because they aren't being traded as often because they don't exist as much. So what can end up happening is stuff like the Katowice 2014 stickers where not a lot of people invested in them thinking that it's just a sticker and it's not going to rise very much. They had no prior knowledge on stickers and so for that reason they didn't think the stickers were going to rise and so not a lot of people invested in them. And that's why the Katowice 2014 stickers have such an astronomically higher price than previous ones. So like for example, when you look at the more recent stickers and even the Katowice 2015 stickers, the 14 stickers just dwarf them in price, even though it's only a year later for the 2015 stickers. That's because a lot less people invested in them, which caused them to be more rare, and by that also caused them to be more desirable and a lot harder to get. So if you were ever wondering why Katowice 2014 stickers dwarf every other sticker in price, that is the reasoning. Also, another thing that can affect rarity is people not trading them or going inactive. So a lot of the time someone can have a very rare item in their inventory, but then they can go inactive and not play the game anymore, and so therefore they won't actually engage in the market anymore either, which can cause the item to increase in price as well, just because that item is also being taken out of the market. This one is a little bit hard to track, and it's also a little bit hard to make sure it is actually permanent. So what can end up happening is with a lot of super rare items that are being tracked in terms of their quantity, what it can end up happening is a person can leave the game and not trade the item making it more rare, but then later can come back and increase the quantity of the item making it less rare. And what can end up happening is really weird price volatile. Alright, so now that we've explained circulation and we've explained some of the concepts behind rarity, let's now talk about how you yourself can get into rare investing because I always want to make sure that you're included in something like that. So one really good way to do it is actually related to the recent Catavacy 2015 spike in stickers, which by the way, I won't be talking about that. The entire video that I previously made already predicted that that was going to happen, so yeah, you can go watch that video if you want to have some discussion on the aftermath of the stickers and why it ended up happening. So what I want to talk about is actually what's kind of called realized rarity. So with the Catavacy 2015 stickers, those stickers were not expensive despite having a rarity that would make them expensive. It was just that people weren't buying them enough to mess the buy orders up, and they were not being invested in enough 
to you know actually make those buy orders more reflective of how expensive the items actually were. So if you look at quantity charts of the Ketevesi 2015 stickers, they definitely have the quantity to be an expensive sticker. But it wasn't until a lot more people started actually going for them and investing in them that they actually did see their gigantic price increase. And that's because the market was a little bit offset by those actually being realized. People were like, oh, the Ketevesi 2015 stickers are actually a great investment. And when more people started buying them, it skyrocketed in price, causing it to be a realized rarity. The stickers were already that rare, but they held a lower price because nobody realized how rare they actually were. So now, going forward, something that you can actually do for investing in rares is looking at items that actually have rarity in terms of their quantity, but they don't have realized rarity. So you can actually make a lot of money off of it because you can buy them for low prices, but then you can end up selling it for a much higher price once the rarity is actually realized. This can happen for a number of things, but usually what you want to look out for is some of those rare ended skins and stickers that a lot of people aren't looking for specifically at this moment, but probably will in the future. So a nice thing, by the way, with the Kevitsu 2015 stickers that can contribute to its realized rarity is the Berlin Major. A lot of people want to invest in stickers during that, so they'll be looking back at previous Major stickers, and I think that is kind of one of the contributions that uh, ended up with the Kevitsu 2015 stickers increasing in price so much. So that would be my tip to you guys. If you want to get into rare investing, look for stuff that does not have a realized rarity yet, but is uh, quantifiably a rare item, and then going for something like that, investing in something like that, and uh, making sure that the quantity can't be increased. So uh, a good way to do this is actually a lot of those cases that are a little bit older, like the Phoenix case and stuff like that, uh, or even cases that haven't become uh, an unlimited item, or sorry, a limited item uh, yet. So for example, the Chroma 3 case is not removed from the game, but it probably will be soon, just because that is what happened with a lot of the previous cases that skyrocketed in price. So what you can end up doing is buy those Chroma 3 cases, and then once you have those in your inventory, you can wait until they're removed from the game, and then you can watch the price skyrocket, and you can make a lot of money off of them. So that's kind of the concept of realized rarity, and that's kind of the concept of you know supply that you have to keep track of. Uh, for example, like an AK-47 Redline, it's still a good investment because it's hold its, it holds its value really, really well, but it's not a good investment because it's rare. It's not really a rare item. There are There is an ability to create more of them via trade-ups, so right now the quantity of the AK-47 Redline can still increase. Uh, that's unlike a case, obviously, which can't increase once it's removed from the game, just because cases can only be obtained from drops. So that's why cases are a good uh, item to go for if you're practicing with realized rarity investing. So that's what I would recommend for you guys. Okay, that was an extremely long-winded explanation, but hopefully that did help you out, and hopefully that gave you an idea of what you want to actually go for in terms of an investment. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope you want to see more like this, because I want to make more uh, actual strict investment, investment guides that can help you guys with going for forward and deciding what you want to invest in instead of just going off of what I give you for tips because I think learning about the investment process is a little bit more important than just taking tips from me and hopefully this was a good video for you guys hopefully this taught you something and I hope that you take it to the bank and you make some money off of it so with that being said guys make sure you do like this video if you enjoyed it and if it helped you and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and more content like the stuff that I previously posted I will be making a lot more videos going forward, and I am considering my changing my schedule, but you'll be able to get a bunch of updates on that if you go ahead and join that Discord, or go follow my Twitter, which both have links below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace.